As we know, the Seventh-day Adventist leaders claim they are the remnant people of God today. Yet, both scripture and spirit of prophecy confirm otherwise, as I shared in this video years ago. They also claim Sister White never declared that they would be one with Babylon, even though scripture and spirit of prophecy have again confirmed they are, in fact, Roman Catholic today in doctrine. See my Roman SDA page when you get time. But what Sister White stated back in 1893 should help some still in the Seventh-day Adventist Church that are right now starting to see the light about their fallen church and finally realize their need to come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins and receive not of her plagues. The SDA leaders today, like the Jews of 2,000 years ago, seem to think they are the eternal chosen people of God due to their name given them of God. But there are very clear instructions as to what constitutes the term chosen, as well as the name Israel today. The fruit of the Seventh-day Adventist Church now confirms the prophecies of Matthew 20 verses 1 to 7 and Revelation 12 verse 17. They're both fulfilled, as we can all clearly see, well, those of us that study scripture. The apostate Seventh-day Adventist Church of today is neither chosen nor are they Israel. Notice what Sister White said way back in 1893. She said, of those who boast of their light and yet fail to walk in it, Christ says, but I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the day of judgment than for you. And thou, Capernaum, and notice, Sister White herself put in brackets the following statement. It says, Seventh-day Adventists, who have had great light, which are exalted unto heaven, and she again says, in point of privilege, shall be brought down to hell. For if the mighty works which have been done in thee had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I say unto you, that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent in their own estimation, as Sister White says, and has revealed them unto babes. Now, not only is Sister White declaring the seven-day Adventist church to be as Capernaum of old, who also had great light in point of privilege, and who had wisdom in their own estimation, she is clearly saying they shall be brought down to hell, along with those in Capernaum of old. She said all this, by the way, in 1893, which was just five years after the Seventh-day Adventist leaders made a public statement against Christ, when they rejected the 1888 message. You know, one would think after five years, they might rethink their blasphemous stance, but they refused, and as prophesied, they were rejected of God. What amazes me even more is that after nearly 140 years, the Seventh-day Adventist leaders have not only ignored all that the Lord revealed in 1888, next to none of their church members know what actually happened in 1888. And as the fruit of their leaders confirmed today, they are much worse than ever before, to the point they are actually sending the tithe of the Seventh-day Adventist people to the Pope, as I shared with actual copies of General Conference letters years ago in this video. Just as the Jews assumed they were the chosen people of God 2,000 years ago, in prophecy as well as historic record confirmed that they would be replaced by the obedient Christians that followed after Jesus Christ, the Seventh-day Adventist leaders have also declared themselves to be the chosen people, who as scripture, spirit of prophecy, and historic record have confirmed they have been replaced by the eleventh hour remnant of her seed. Thank you for watching. God bless.